Hello Darts Nuts, I'm going to do a review of the newly released Unicorn Neon Model 2. I reviewed the original model a while ago and as with that model they come in this uh, cardboard box with the slide out tray and inside you've got this foam inset which has all the uh, bits inside nice and neat. Now this is the 23 gram model, there's also a 21 and a 25 gram version and there's also a soft tip version which is 19 grams and the darts retail for £50 and inside the box you've got your Unicorn Mirage shafts your neon standard shape flights and this quite neat uh, Unicorn aluminium uh, trident point protector. Now the uh, neon darts have a, a coloured titanium DNA coating so each barrel has got a unique colour pattern and they have a complex machine and grip and they have the LP grip finish on the front of the barrel and on the rear of the barrel and they're a 90% tungsten dart so we'll have a close look at the barrels now as you can see the darts are fitted with a silver point and it's a straight barrel dart but it has got a nice uh, taper to the to the nose and the nose of the barrel or the front half, half of the barrel has got this kind of a it's like a ring grip with the LP finish so it's like a micro style grip on top of a, a very thin cut ring grip and it's got these little uh, lateral grooves along the barrel as well so there's a fair amount of grip there I think the other model was probably a little bit grippier because it was a kind of a shark style grip but I'd still say this is a high medium grip and uh, It sits quite comfortable in my fingers there for my front grip. And as you move along, you've got like this mostly smooth section, but it's still got uh, elements of grip with the notches cut out along the length, so there's still just a little bit of grip there. And then as you go back onto the rear, you've got more of that uh, ring style grip, and then a finer. Uh, micro style grip right near the end and then on the very rear it's uh, just smooth towards the end of the uh, barrel and then you've got your unicorn mirage stems and the art and the unicorn neon standard shape flights so I'll see if I can get a close up of the barrel for you Quite a nice looking uh, design. Okay, I'll put the detailed picture up with all the measurements now. Here's a detailed look at the darts. It's got a 28mm silver point. The front part of the barrel is made up of these thin rings with the LP finish machined on top. That's 18.2 millimeters wide and then you've got a mostly smooth section in the middle with the neon and unicorn names and some grooves from the lateral groove that runs along the barrel so there's a little bit of grip there that's 11.7 millimeters wide and then you've got more of the thin rings with the LP finish and that's 5 millimeters wide and then there's like a solid section of LP finish grip that's 4.9 millimeters and then there's a, a single slightly bigger ring than the previous ones of LP finish including the grooves that's 2.7 millimeters wide and then it's smooth to the end of the barrel for 7.6 millimeters overall length is 50.1 millimeters and the width is 6.64 millimeters okay I'll take some measurements the barrel length is 50 point 
0.1 millimeters and the width apart from the nose and the slight taper on the rear looks to be pretty much even um, I'll see if I can measure this smooth section I'm just uh, gonna get it where there's no groove so that's 6.64 and at the front 6.59 uh, on the rear section there 6.58 it's just a little bit awkward because sometimes you get into that to the groove so depends how you catch it but I'd say 6.6 .6 is the widest part and then on the very end of the barrel it tapers down 6.2 and the nose of the barrel is 4.43 Alright, I'll compare the weight of the barrels now, see how they match up. That one is 23.16 grams. That one is 23.23 grams. And that one is 23.21. So I'll just use the slightly heavier one. Where the full setup as supplied is 24.87 grams. Right then, I'll see if I can find the balance point. With nothing attached, the barrel is just slightly front weighted I would say um, yeah it's just about there and um, with the supplied setup it's probably going to be pretty much on that slightly smooth section um, yeah, looks about there so with the supplied setup then it's um, pretty much bang in the middle where the neon logo is so that's the detailed look at the darts Let's give them a throw and see how they go. I'm holding the dart just near the near the nose of the barrel, but uh, trying to keep on that uh, straighter section, just off the taper a little bit. But uh, there's enough room there for my grip. I'm not, although it might look as if I'm on that smooth section, the main part of my grip is still on that there, and that position there is usually about the right position with my front grip. Sometimes it may just move up a little bit but uh, it's pretty close there so I've still got plenty of grip from my own personal grip it's not as grippy as the other model of the neon darts but there's still uh, plenty of grip there for me um, I'd still say it's probably a high medium grip whereas I think the other model was closer to a high level but uh, so far it's not flying too bad it's quite a nice pleasant dart to throw release is nice and easy out your fingers and it feels quite nice to throw. Uh, I didn't notice any problems with the way it was flying. It was pretty steady. Didn't really see any uh, dodgy wobbles or anything. So I'll just have a few more throws from there. Then I'll try a, a couple of other positions.
hair got a dodgy wrist that month. That's why I was wearing the band before, but it, it, I can't throw the darts with it on very good, so I've took it off. But my wrist is, is hurting me, so it's not doing very good at the moment. Oh, slipped out my fingers that last one. One last go from that position, then I think I'll try around the middle on the smooth part. Quite like the way they feel these in your fingers. Uh, I'm just going to try that middle section now I know there's not a lot of grip on there but you've got little notches um, can't feel the notches too much but there is a little bit of uh, rolling grip there so there's just slight something um, balance I think it feels quite well balanced there but uh, we'll see how it flies as well from that middle section it's a pity uh, it didn't have more of that grip there because if you're a natural center gripper it'd be perfect for, for you um, it's flying okay for me from there give it another throw from there see if I can get it back in straight yeah I think it's uh, quite a nice position there for four and but I was quite happy there as well um, it seemed a little bit flatter in the uh, flight there but uh, on the all I think it may have been a touch steadier there more stable through the air I'm gonna try that uh, section of grip on the rear now Let's see how that goes spinning it again it's always the same when I grip on the rear it spins that last one I tried not to spin it and <laughs> the ones that were spinning were going to the left and that one didn't spin went to the right one more go from there feels a little bit strange on this rear grip though yeah uh, some darts I get away with it holding it on the rear and some I don't I think this is one of them ones where I don't but uh, like I've said before, a really natural rear gripper probably work fine, but uh, it worked really nice from that middle section and works quite well with my normal front grip. But I'm just going to go back to that normal grip now for me. I can't believe I got a 180 there. Um, I have the camera switched on the slow mo, but I didn't realise that the the dart near the top was in the treble. I thought it was on top of the wire, so 
first one I've ever scored on video. <laughs> it took me long enough though. Yeah. Oh well, that's the uh, Neon Model 2. Uh, I just remembered as well, I had actually scored a 180 on video before, but it was on the, I scored two of them on the soft tip machine, so uh, that was the first 180 steel tip I'd got. But anyway, um, I'm quite pleased with the way the feel in your fingers, and I think they're a very nice start to throw. Um, balance, I th still think, was probably the best around that middle. But uh, I wasn't too far away from where it was nicely balanced, so that might be why they were f flying well. Probably do better as well if my wrist wasn't bothering me, but uh, I'll just have to try them again when it's healed up a little bit more. But uh, I wanted to get the Revo view done, so I didn't have much choice but to try and get through uh, the review with a bit of pain. So not a lot I can do about that because it plays up quite often, but... Uh, that's just one thing I've got used to, but um, I quite like the uh, way the feel in my front grip. Um, like I said, I didn't notice any problems with the dart flying through the air, but I think it was more stable at the middle. Couldn't really throw it very well at all from that rear section, but I suspect it'll probably work okay if you're a natural rear gripper. But um, yeah, it's quite a nice, pleasant dart to throw, and. Um, Regarding the other model, I'm not quite sure which one I like the best now after uh, playing with these. At first I was thinking I was preferring the other model, but uh, after having a few more throws with these, these seem just as nice, so I'll have to give it a bit more play time when my wrist is better and see what I decide then. But uh, yeah, it's a very nice start overall. Uh, so there you go, that's the uh, end of the review. Thanks for watching.